put Windows on it. So yep. wow, you have like the perfect computer. I know. <laughs> it's a Mac with Windows and Mac on it, oh, so I can do games and everything. Shout outs to Kappa Swag 420. <laughs> <laughs> I, that is my dream one day, but it may never happen. But it mm -hmm. is okay. It, yes, they are, both players are 5-0. Yeah. Those are asking. In in most in many lights, I actually think that nationals cha a nationals champion is a more prestigious title than saying oh, you're one a world a champion. So. Um, yeah, because worlds is a glorified local. Yeah, there's only you know like uh, yeah. six. I guess but 60 getting there is the hard like part. That. But yeah. the duel's underway. Dalton starts with three back rows. This no is card not, This is not a good matchup for um, for Anthony for at Anthony all. Anthony at all. Bear just kind of destroys. It's like Dalton it's maybe hard. rethinking his plays here. And the good thing for Anthony that going into this is that Bear is a terrible card against a, a terrible card for Evil Swarms. Yeah. But at the same time, Infestation Pandemic is a terrible card for Fireface yeah. because they Pandemic makes such a huge difference. Oh, look, Evil Swarms with Upstart Goblin, no surprise. Um, yep. I'm pretty sure this is my fourth feature match to be commentating row, and so far both decks have all had three Upstart Goblins in it. Yep. I'm sure this I, this is no exception because both of them. I know Dalton has three Upstarts in. Exactly. Uh, if you're playing one, you're probably playing three. So. Yeah, he has the three Upstarts in there. <laughs> this I actually watched him unfor uh, smash a uh, Heretic Gishki player. Unfortunately, oh. never got to. Play a card. <laughs> Just yeah. Ophion for game. Yep, well, that's what happens when you play silly to dinner decks like that. Yep. <laughs> now, I actually like Evil Swarm. I like them as a deck. I hate Ophion. <laughs> I hate that I always <laughs> want to go for Ophion because they're one of the best rank four toolbox decks out there. Oh, yeah. They're no, so they're good at making Xyz. Their cards yeah. don't do anything on their own, but they're so good at making yeah, Xyz. Yeah, replace Dino Rabbit. <laughs> it's better than Dino Rabbit. Oh, that's good for Anthony so far. It yeah. is. Any good position at any time that you can keep the bear off the field. And he could go with position. a. I mean, Thunderbird's actually very good against Fire Fist, as it'll just you know keep coming back, staying away, coming yep. back until until they throw out the Tiger King, and you're like, well, oh, there's there's only so much. You you run do, away so you got to get him out there before the Tiger King. Comes yeah. Out. yeah. <laughs> so Lance on the bear. So let's see what actually comes out of this. So he wants to keep the bear on the field. Uh, which, I mean, in Fire Fist match, it's exactly what you want to do against Evil Swarms. The bear is essentially your key to victory. Uh, I don't believe that Anthony plays any copies of Safe Zone, so he won't be able to just protect it. I don't think they play Forbidden Dress anymore like they may have uh, in Nationals last year. Uh, so it's if he throws out the Ophion, then it's very easily going to die to the to the bear. He does he have a rabbit in nice. hand. I saw that. I was going to say he has the pesky little rabbit. Yeah, but I wouldn't. he just doesn't want to summon it into three back row. So. And he also does have a Veiler, so the first bear coming down is not really going to do much. Hmm, is it Caster, Mendorga, Bear? Uh, yeah, Caster means all monsters, so that's not very good yeah. for Evil Swarms. But it's not, but that's a lot of plays that they can make. That's I, Whenever I played Evil Swarms uh, in last year's Nationals format, I always loved opening multiple monsters. If I opened two to three traps and then three, three or four monsters, I was good for the game. Yeah. Billy's just got to sign like seven <laughs> tokens here or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sign these tokens real quick. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Anthony throwing down Evil Storm Caster. That does give him an extra summon, even if it does leave the field, uh, in case some people have forgotten. Uh, so he could go, could go Ophion here. He could go. Uh, he could go Bahamut just for giggles. But he's just going to go Excite Knight. Yeah, he's just trying to get rid. Simplify it, and then because he blows everything up, and then he has the rabbit to follow up. Yep. Pretty good place. Pretty good place. So, is he behind in card? Yeah, I guess he is behind by one. There you go. Yeah, everyone. Let's see, so Anthony chaining the Book of Moon to Bear, I think. Oh no, to the Veiler. He Veiler the oh, side time. I, I saw the Veiler. Yeah, I just, so that I is just a saw that is a blowout. If uh, there's no there's no really response. Uh, I yeah, can, because uh, it doesn't matter lance, if you yeah. lance. I guess it doesn't matter if your card advantage I mean, changes. So, I mean, it does afterwards, right? Yeah. 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 So, so if you, oh, it wouldn't matter here. Only if you pay cost to like to change it, I guess. Yeah. No, I mean he checks. Uh, the only time you can activate it is whenever you activate it. That's the only time it checks card difference. So even if you. Uh, are the same. Even if you go oh, under, okay, it okay. still blows up because it checks. Oh, I was like, when they make the excitement that you could flip or Geki break in response to someone ditch yeah. the card, and then they won't be able to activate the effect. So I think yeah. it's still a, it's still a quick effect, but you still yeah, but they can't but they chain can't it chain now. it because the card's exactly. gone. Exactly. Yeah. Well, if this if this resolves, this is um. 
a very bad for Falcon. Oh, mine crush. What are we gonna crush? Um, I why would he not? I was just gonna scoop. Oh. Yep. yep, that was. Right. I don't know if that was a scoop or him just throwing down cards. So, because he still had cards in his hand. So no, he's, yep. he's scooping. Scoop. And okay, that's it. That, it. You wonder why he had one card and it was gonna be over. Yep, uh, that was done. Man, that's one thing. That he, that's one evil thing. Evil swarm. He is an really evil swarm, making, right? So. <laughs> Exciton is an evil swarm. So he <laughs> you can protect. He's running. Yeah, you can protect him with pandemic. You can that's use that banish him with Kirkion, All that good stuff. No, not right now. My faces. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, was a qu that is the quickest game one I've commentated yet. Maybe I'll have a big breather. This I time. don't know. That was about as quick as my uh, Evil Swarm versus Heratic Gishki matchup was. Like I said, was, the only so. time I, I played Anthony uh, in San Diego, and it was just a quick 2-0 smash in my face. Like yeah. He destroyed me. So he's been on my radar ever since. Yeah. San Diego, the draft for sealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He beat though. Oh. His deck was broken, though. He went undefeated throughout the day. No surprise. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I got 34th as high sex, dude. <laughs> Let's see here. Mm -hmm. No, like, good radar. Like, best in Utah radar. Hey, someone should quote that, by the way. Uh, no, I've been saying it. I know I said he's... I, I mean, yep. I don't know every player in Utah, but... He's definitely one definitely of a very very good player. I was like finding like, the best players in the states because I mean it used to be like a thing like it was always the tri-state area, Texas, California. Those were like the three Yu-Gi-Oh states. Like we always argued which was better, mm -hmm. and I mean I would always go for Texas because that's where I was from. Of course, <laughs> but New York definitely had the credentials. But we had you know we had Philly Luna. We had, we had I wish I wish I wish I had the credentials I have now back then so I could have helped arg the argument a little bit more. But back then I only had three tops for the longest. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people ask me like. Man, how do you just win? Like, I mean, uh, it took me like you know a few years to get into it. Like, I, I had ten tops before I ever won a tournament. Like, yeah, absolutely. it's an endurance thing with this game. You have to take the losses. You're gonna lose. I, I had the worst luck. Like, you lose, you lose, you lose, you lose. You have to. It's endurance, variance. You'll eventually win. Yeah. If you're if you play right. I mean, and, even, and you have to realize that even even though once you do start winning, you still lose. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You still yeah. yeah oh two today. I mean, I played a deck I never played before, but yeah, you have to be. Okay. Yeah. No, it can happen any time. Yeah, even if it, even the deck that he was, you know, Billy's really comfortable with, he played, you know, spell books at uh, oh. Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, I, I was I played the entire day one almost. I lost like the second to last round to get knocked <laughs> out, but yeah, it was. Yeah, you're just gonna lose. <laughs> you just have those days. Yep, you have to be able to. We are not censoring the chat, but Twitch does censor their chat. So. Yes. Matt Pedal does have the most tops without a win. If you include all his uh, Canadian national top eights, because he has like six or seven of those. How big are Canadian national? They 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 they've been they've been small before, but but the champions are always uh, good players usually. So. Yeah, Lazaro. Yep. Aaron Noel, I believe, was a kid. The, uh, he was the last Canadian national champion, and then he also won Washington Chicago. Billy Brick for president. <laughs> I could not run for president. This was Yu-Gi-Oh president. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff would be, be I'd rather be like a vice president to Jeff, though. He'd be a better Yu-Gi-Oh president than me. <laughs> E-Hero Stratos, I do notice you. Don't cry. Mm -hmm. I, can't get, I can't keep up with everybody. Shout would, you, out. would you free Stratos? <laughs> huh? I love Stratos. <laughs> It's funny he got banned now when heroes were uh, semi-popular, like, but they're an anti meta hero. But like, mm -hmm. he was the he was in every deck, like during T hero, like he was the oh, yeah. perfect circle, all that stuff. He ran. He was the turn one Stratos was the most common thing you'd ever seen constantly. Exactly, <laughs> it's like upstarts now. <laughs> and he wasn't banned <laughs> then, so yeah. Ah, yeah, Dexter Dolly, yep, he's good. He won twice, I think. No, Dexter Dahlia, I remember, I remember. I, I mean, I've, I've been a part of all the history, but there's so much stuff, it's hard to, it yeah. used to be so easy, but then it just, they just kept adding up. Yeah, all right, we're underway in our next duel. Yes, Dalton's Dalton starting started. off with card card. Always strong whenever Fire Fist can do that, especially with back row protection. Yep. So I see Lance Duality, Warning. That Dalton's is a hand of entirely monsters. I think he drew all three heliotropes, or at least two heliotropes. So Rabbit is dead. Oh, he drew two Heliotrope Rabbit? No, 
uh, whenever he oh, draws he, the okay. rabbit. Okay, yeah, I, I, I thought the rabbit too. I was like, well, that is very unfortunate. I've done that before, and I've still used the rabbit. Thankfully, infestation infection is a thing, so just send everything back. That's a good question. What is Hoban's record right now? Do you know? Uh, X01 still. He has 13 points. Very nice. Did he actually tie, or did he draw with something? Uh, he drew, like, round two. Okay. Yep. To David, I'm not going to give you a shout-out if you keep... Uh, thre threatening doesn't give you shout-outs. <laughs> But you gave him but you gave him a shout out yeah. there. So he'd <laughs> Teach him how to meme. People just make memes of me. <laughs> Sometimes I've got on the beach squirrel Just go like Yu-Gi-Oh memes on Facebook. They'll teach you how to meme. <laughs> All one of the guys who runs that when you know one of the guys who runs that's from like Plano, like from where I live in Dallas, yeah. right? Yeah. He, he plays at Lone Star, like down the street from where I live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh Sherwin, yeah. Yep. I he's a nice guy. I didn't when I met him. I didn't know. Oh yeah, he's him. he's great. I I'm, uh, featured him in uh, Fort Worth. Uh, he actually got top thirty-two at that event. Yeah, I know. So. He beat uh, Robbie. He mm -hmm. beat um, he beat other players. I forget. Play but Evil Swarms. Speaking <laughs> of Evil Swarms, things are happening here. So MST to MST to Fiendus Chain stopped. <laughs> so no stopping the Tinky today. No, but he still has the bigger monster. Yep. But Dalton does have a lance in his hand with no back rows. He's definitely going to lance attack. Yeah. So that is let's see, sixteen to nine fifty, so that's six fifty damage. Is it Kirk Oh man. Anthony's actually got a really good yeah. comeback hand, yeah, I mean, assuming that no, no more tra traps come down. But, but, but there's the, the warning. Yeah, <laughs> the warning is gonna end this game. That was kinda loud. No, they can't hear we're so far. Mm-hmm. I, I played over there. I couldn't hear anything oh, from yeah. 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 You're like in a corner. Yeah, that's right. Plus, we're talking this way, so yeah. it makes it much more difficult for them to hear. I mean, he has all the only thing he has is all monsters in hand. He's going to summon. Let's do an MST. He's going to blind MST. He drew Pandemic, oh, which yeah. isn't enough. He's going to use Kirkyon Warning. Then. But I mean, I mean, he might not lose. There's still. Dalton may not be able to put damage, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to. Yeah. yeah. It really depends on how he plays it, because if he goes Special Mandragora, summon Kirkyon. Then he loses the Mandragora next turn, and then the Kirkion gets warninged, and so here we go. So now it, when the Kirkion gets warninged, or whatever he tries to bring out, then he loses the Mandragora next turn. Now he yeah, doesn't really has one monster. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why he didn't. Uh, oh, he specialed the Mandorga. And then summon, he's got some of the Kirkion. Now he's deciding he wants to warning the Kirkion. Yep. Yeah, you, I don't see. Why would you not warning the Kirkion? Because you can get the additional summon if you don't. If he doesn't warning the Kirkion, he's going to get Caster back. And yeah, then and getting two additional summons. Exactly. Yeah. So then it doesn't matter what he warnings, there's still going to be a bigger monster. Right. There are still def there are still four cards down, one of them being warning. So I'm sure Dalton's taking a look at his life, too. I mean, 23. Yeah, 2300 puts him extremely low, especially against Evil Swarm. Evil Swarm can yeah, but you have to, you have, you can blow you out pretty quickly. You 100% have, have to warning the Kirkion. Yep. That is the best card in the deck. Next to Ophion, I guess. But he's not really in the deck. Kirkion, I'd say, is still the. I actually would say it's the reason that the deck did well. Before mm -hmm. Kirkion came out, the Ophion wasn't enough to push them. Right, there was no follow up. Yep. Yeah. If and they got rid of the Ophion, then it's just like, okay, well, I just lose. Mm -hmm. Kirkion is what made the deck. Drawing a lot of monsters in Evil Swarms is not good. <laughs> it's not good if you don't have the protection. If you draw mm -hmm. all monsters, then, you'd, then it's bad. If you draw, like, like I said, four monsters, usually you're pretty set because you need those extra <laughs> monsters to summon on each turn. Yep. Because if you just, if you get Ophion set four and they get past your set four because they're, you know, protection traps and not actual destruction traps, you're in a pretty bad position. Yeah. yeah. And the only reason Anthony's not going to see this game is because he could draw another Kirky. That's the thing about Evil Swords. They could just draw Kirky on and all of a sudden they're back in this game. Yep. Because <laughs> they're just summoning three monsters and can make two excuses for monsters sometimes. Oh. Now, if you were in Dalton's position, would you use the... Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to ask, would oh, you use yeah. the tanky to blow it away yeah. to get the extra tanky? Definitely. Getting all those getting, bear advantages. Getting, getting a massive board against Evil Swarms with, like, no cards is... It's almost impossible for Evil Swarms to win. Yep. They, they, have, they have no mass, like... No explosion factor. 3,200 to Anthony. Still very much in this game with as far as life, life points are considered. Let's yeah. see if he can actually... 41.50? Yeah. Let's see if he can actually 
come back or come back from it. So. Yeah, just set a, a Gyoku and a Tinky, or a Tenso, I guess. Maybe all those Tinkies are gone. I would actually, uh, I would look at, uh, I, I would take the time to like look at his grave, and if he has a Tinky, he could set. I would set like Tinky and maybe like Cardinal back the caster and Kirkion. Uh -huh. So even a top deck Kirkion's not that great without the caster to have it also. Exactly. But maybe he's out of Tinkies and doesn't want to do the Cardinal play. The Cardinal, I mean, he has the Wolf Park already, so I would definitely like the Cardinal play. Yeah, I guess. Yep. Okay, right. I would set. I would send back. Oh, the maybe he's gonna do the Cardinal play. Maybe he just does out of Tinkies. Oh, just Kagasuchi. Kagasuchi. Which is also really good against Evil Swarms. <laughs> it is. They have such a difficult time getting over anything that powerful. Uh, I don't know if I agree with Full House here. Uh, Evil Swarms do run traps, but they don't know if they run enough traps to merit Full House. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe he's thinking, you know, save zones and stuff and trying to blow that out, but we haven't seen any of that. Yeah. Or because they do play, you know, the the trap uh, infestation, yeah, infection or whatever. So I get to the merits of Full House. But oh, which one did he hit? Did he hit the? I couldn't tell if the he pandemic or the Gyoku'd the pandemic or the Phoenix chain. So. so I take the twenty-seven. Does Dalton? Oh, he has two Wolf Arcs and a card card. Yeah, he has to save himself from the twenty-seven. Which pass. Is that a Kirk? Overworked. Oh, okay. If it was that's Kirk something. That's actually, man, if Anthony comes back in this game, like. <laughs> like, yeah, that's actually pretty that's impre <laughs> That's impressive. You could set, set Heliotrope, set Overworked. Oh, now we need, I, just could, oh. I would summon the Heliotrope. Because this, this, guy, this guy's Fiendish Chained right now. Oh, so. okay, yeah, he's Fiendish Chained. But he's still, oh, yeah, so he's going to die, okay. Mm -hmm. So it would die from the Overworked. Right, because he's Fiendish Chained. What do I do when I'm not playing Yu Gi Oh? Lately. I have been playing Hearthstone when I'm not playing Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> so I play other card games. Exactly. <laughs> he leaves real TCGs for. Uh, I, I eat food sometimes. Digital TCGs. I'll use the restroom, take a shower, sleep is occasionally in there, and then it's right back to card games. Speaking of card games, have you ever played Card Games Against Humanity? No. <laughs> <laughs> the game is rather fun. Uh, it's Wolf Park's once like you can only Wolf Park once per turn. Otherwise, that would be bonkers, yeah. It'd be the stones. Now, does he have any monsters? I mean, I'm sure he milled some of the Kagasuchi, but the two bears... I think the only things that he has are the two bears. Because the two bears are stuck under the Kagasuchi, no way to detach. Yeah, this is actually... <laughs> wow, this is... He played it right. Yeah, you know, Anthony, Anthony's, Anthony's good. He draw, yeah, he's no, he drew Baron Gorilla, so... <laughs> yeah, if he... <laughs> the gorilla is going to be the blowout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because he still has the overworked set. It's just the fact that he he's can, just going to go Tensu it. Gorilla. And then he still has his bear <laughs> follow up. Exactly. Blah, 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 blah. That's actually the out to the overworked. I mean, it's hard to read overworked, but I feel like if he's been playing, Dalton's playing Fire Long enough, I'm sure games two and three, he sees it all the time. Oh, yeah. But he has the Evil Swarm. There's Bottles. Oh, the pandemic's frozen. Yep. yep. That's right. So it actually was great. He, he four he, monsters. So for everything's him. been going like even though Anthony's been losing this entire game, he's, everything's been going his way. Like the, he had a 50-50 on the Yoku, hit a, a dead or a chain. <laughs> he, hit the, he hit the dead one. So, so he, I can't tell if Dalton's frustrated or happy about this, but no, one way or another, Dalton, Dalton's definitely frustrated. I mean, even though like I'm the same way, he looks like he has all the cards advantage in the world, but the way he's not dying yeah. just bodes terrible, and it makes you feel bad on the inside. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, oh, why can't I kill him? Like, it makes it so much harder. Because if he tends to summons right here, though. Then he still has his normal summon. Even if the overwork goes through, he has the wolf bark now to actually make the comeback play yeah, with no restrictions. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna tend to summon. Oh. Okay. And it's, it's actually. I don't know. I would, yeah, I would tend to summon the gorilla and try to pop, and then summon the bear afterwards, but and then pop the mm -hmm. uh, heliotrope. One way or another, he still has the wolf yeah, part it's, here. Yeah, it's so. still over. It's like still <laughs> a blowout. <laughs> Manthe's obviously not going to speak yep. up. He's just grabbing. Just the pull, look at the you, it's such a risk. Like when you Basically, when your opponent looks at the next card, he has to scoop. So oh, it's so you're <laughs> like, oh, wait, I did draw a storm. <laughs> when I play for fun, that happens all the time. I'll be like, I'm just going to look and see if I scoop. And I just put it back down and just look at my friend, whoever I'm play testing with. They're like, oh, all right. And they have to think of a new play because they know I'm going to draw something to come back. Yep. <laughs>
Oh, All man. Right. Anyways, going between these rounds, we're going to go ahead and cut to a very quick commercial break. We'll be right back uh, with game three between Dalton Bozeman and Anthony Eckhart. we go all right welcome back thank you guys for sitting through that lovely ad i had no idea what it was about because <laughs> i have my video paused because i get to see the live mm -hmm. action thing and that's just On a much TV. cooler i know you have like this little tv in front of us actually it's pretty, pretty neat see if maybe you can show you guys the setup whenever we get I whenever we get between uh, rounds oh, i see kirky on warning so his hand's definitely not bad let's <laughs> say i see a good hand yeah warning. and a pandemic that's 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 pretty good that's, that's pretty that's pretty good good <laughs> uh, thunderbird Yeah. This is it's a good opening for Anthony. Definitely not a Dalton he did definitely didn't break yeah. brick. Upstart to no. Anthony. <laughs> There's another one in his hand. So thousand life points to Anthony. Free of charge. Does two thousand life points. Dalton has two effect veilers in his hand. I would I I I, 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 I like siding a veiler out against evil swarm. Exactly. I, mean, I just don't see it's that's I mean, useful. It's great against the Kirkion, but, but that's really about it. I'd rather have a card that just stopped all of them. Yeah, this Tinky gets tough. Yeah, Dalton's for Dalton. You know he drew bad and assuming he's gonna lose the game. He was he was picking up his Tinky to like assuming he was gonna get Typhoon or something. Yeah, because he's so he's already, you can, he's he's, visu he's visually frustrated because his hand blew up. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> and he has the one. What was it? What was the trap in there? The bottomless, I think. Cross four. That's very correct. White PCs are the only sleeves you can use, and yep, your deck has to be turned and in the wrong place. Yep. It's easier to draw that way. Exactly. <laughs> Even though the pro mats have this new pink that's like super vibrant, mm -hmm. I, I like. I actually, I really like the, the like mint green, uh, oh. pro mats. They're pretty. They're, cool. new, they're one of the new ones too. Yep. Yeah, they're just like the pinks. Like they're they like, very bright colors. I like the colored pro mats, and I mean these sleeves. Uh, they've only had they've taken like very very minor damage, and I've had them on my, on my deck since, uh, since Atlanta, and they haven't taken any damage. It's crazy. Wow, they're awesome. lasting quite a bit, quite a long time. I'm very surprised. All right. So. The thing is, like, he's like, "Oh, you don't have the MST." Oh, he has a bottomless to the bear. Bottomless, just just as good as MST. And he has warning set too. We know he's. he's the, I'm. Yeah. Anthony's in such a good position right now. It's a free warning because Dalton had to double and start into a terrible. He has Kirkion. He has a, another evil. I think he has two. Rota, he's a Rota and two Kirkions, I think. That's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> This game is very bad for Dalton. Yep, and he already has the pandemic set. That's so when Dalton uses like the bottomless, mm -hmm. then Dalton, just, when you draw like mediocre and your opponent draws better, like sometimes you just can't do anything. Dalton's not going to get a chance at this game. This could actually be the game blowout right here because, well, no, he has to get two monsters in the graveyard to do Kirkion. I so. mean, it almost doesn't matter. I mean, Dalton, has, we know Dalton has two Valor. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe and his hand's nothing. His hand's terrible. So even if that is something to deal with both these guys, or the, yep. he still has the Kirkion to follow up and the warning to stop his summon. And it, it, I, I can't see Dalton winning this game. There, it's just and not. The, yeah, he bottomless the bear, so the wolf arcs. Like, it, everything went wrong for Dalton this game. <laughs> very, very bad. <laughs> You can usually sometimes you can tell in a couple uh, first turn. For, is this is turn what two for <laughs> Anthony, and you already know the game's over. He, yep. And both both these players are uh, well educated in the game, very pretty good. So they both they both know that what is going on. Yep. I mean Anthony doesn't know how well of a position is, but he can tell he's definitely in a winning position. You you can never yeah you never you never know that your opponent the more dead cards you have, your opponent has in your hand, especially when you have a warning set, it's just so unfair. 
Veilers can be. I mean, he's going to end up veiling a Kirky on this game, so maybe mm -hmm. the Veilers will keep him in the game. He has Bear, two Veilers, that's all he has. So the Bear gets warning. He's really going to come down Dalton's top deck to see if he can even fight. Yep. He's going to scooped in. <laughs> Does he already have the wolf bark in hand? He has a, he has a no, he just has Bear, two Veilers. Bear, two Veilers, okay. So if he had the wolf bark and he you know, somehow ripped a Tensu. Yeah. He's no, I mean, he'd have to get the guy in the grave, too. Yep. Well, that's the thing, is he summons the oh bear. Oh, maybe he does have a wolf bark. He has four cards. Yeah, he summons the bear, gets oh. warning. This is not good. Yeah. Pandemic for the blowout. There's Valor. <laughs> he's two Kirkgowns and he's two Kirk a warning. So he's wolf bark bear. Oh, my gosh. Uh -oh. Dalton just top decked a Gyoku, the only card. That was the sickest draw. Yeah, that was fantastic. All right. Well, everything I just said was completely wrong because now Dalton is way back in this game because he has the Veiler for the Kirkion. But yeah, he he still two, it's still, oh, like that was that Gyoku, that one Gyoku, that that was his only out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you drew that Gyoku. That, that's good. That's what you go. Everyone who complains about top decking this game, I'm like, you probably started watching, you know, the TV show, and you top decks every game. So you should have known you're going into a game where that's going to happen. He a top lot. decks Exodia. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Anthony can top deck a good card. Oh, Overworked is a good card. <laughs> it is. A, it's another live trap. In fact, Valor. Vanish. Valor. So the Valors definitely came into play. So that's good. At least he got to use them. I should say, is Dalton <laughs> really thinking about the Valor here? Again, granted, he thinks about every single one. Yeah, of which is which is fine to do. Man, if, if Dalton draws like a live trap. Nope, it's another wolf bark. So he has three wolf barks in hand? <laughs> uh, I think he might. I know he's at least two. Well, the other one might be Card D. Plays for, plays for days for the rest of the turn. Rest of the no, that, that's three wolf barks. Yeah. I can, see his, I can see his arms. He has, Dalton has three wolf barks in his hand. That's fantastic. Is that a card card in the back? I don't think so. Look, look at the tail. <laughs> it's, I, it Wait, might be Card Car. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna go for the Gyoku. Thanks for watching again, guys. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm trying to bring you uh, the best games we can. Absolutely. Yeah, this, game, this, this match has been great. It's fantastic. We have about 816 <laughs> viewers in here right now. Bring them on. Bring more. Tell your friends. Tell them they can watch these awesome matches. Use that live social right media. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet using uh, hashtag ARG Vegas. I think you got a summon overworked. Overworked. Now Anthony has the Kirky on. Oh, actually, that's game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anthony oh. just won. He has Kirky on. He can you can do 46 with the Kirky on, right? With the Gaga Cowboy at the end? Swing, swing. Yeah. Cowboy, I'm pretty sure. He, maybe not. We'll see. It's 16, 13. It's 16, 13. No, because uh, he only has the, the highest oh, he, 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 he doesn't have a caster yet. That's right. Yeah. No, he has the caster in there. Oh, he if he draws another monster. Oh, he just has that, yeah, he has to have a monster summon. Draws monster. Nope. Pandemic. I'll t I'd take Pandemic right now, though. I'd say that's okay. Um, what he needs to do, is there a way he can make, is there an excuse monster he can make to get rid of the Gyoku and still be able to leave up a face-up monster so he can have his warning with a face-up monster? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I mean, the only thing that keeps dire? Is, there is Diamond Dire. Is there a way he can, yeah, he won't be able to summon three monsters, but he can, yeah, no. He has Kirky on his hand, right? Yeah. So he could... He can Kirky on, attack, attack. Then Diamond Dyer the Gy Gyoku away, so he, when he summons and next then, turn, he warnings. And then he'll, he'll have, but then he has no monsters. Exactly. So that, he has no way. That's why I was hoping there's a way to do yeah. it, but there's not. He has to rely on drawing a monster at that point. Which is not the right. Mm. And just swing? Yeah, yeah, but then he's going to get Wolf Bark out of oh, This he game is actually, I'm, I'm so glad this game wasn't a blowout. Exactly. That, that Gyoku changed everything. It really just depends on what he has in the extra deck that he could just go into right now. Looking at... Because no matter what he brings out... Uh, I think diamond, the Diamond Dire might be the best play. I don't know. Because whatever he brings out, Dalton could just 101 it. Uh, Is he tech? Well, no, that would he be. Uh, he, say he, he, has to, he has to get. He wants to, I, I feel like he's going to want to get rid of the Gyoku. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Are you watching this? I just watched all the chat. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering yeah. Oh, you weren't over there? This is a good match. It's a fantastic match. Jeff Jones, everybody. Mm, no, I mean it's Fire Fist vs. Evil Swarms. It has been pretty straight. Yeah. <laughs> right as you come over, somebody says, "Bring no, Jeff Jones to blowout. commentate." It was a blowout. I want to commentate. It was a blowout, <laughs> and then like Dalton topped a Gyoku to freeze like a warning, and now like it, 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 it's crazy. We're gonna see what happens though. Cowboy's not game. That's why he needs to find a way to get rid of that Gyoku so his warning's back on. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't know. I mean, Anthony's, it's, it's going to be 83 to, like, really low for Dalton. Anthony's going to be 83, but uh, Dalton has three wolf marks in his hand. Dalton has, like, three wolf marks in his hand, so I don't know. Wolf. It could be worth it to Wait, go for it. Yeah. That's okay, it was Judge taking a look at it. it why, not, why not get the Thunderbird and then have to set the and then swing, swing, and just have the Thunderbird banish and come back to deal with, oh, yeah, yeah. Because then you, you still can't get over yeah, whatever the wolf mark does. But what I was going to say is it might be worth it to, he just he looks like he just, did he just pass? Or is he just waiting for a moment? He's still deciding. He's but I think it might, uh, w when he goes into, it might be better just to go into the Opheon and get the trap card, set mm -hmm. the trap so card in the, in the Pandemic. That way any monster that he draws on his next turn becomes a Kirkion. Yeah, that looks like what he's doing. So, because Evil Swarm do run a decently high monster count so they can make sure they get that first turn Opheon. So if they get that, if he gets the trap card right now and draws any evil swarm monster, it immediately becomes a Kirkion and gets him back yep. in the game and gets him over Wait, Dalton. <laughs> I don't think he attacked before uh, he overlaid. I'm not sure. We'll see if he's. I hope he. I hope he. Did we'll see attack. if he does this, but no, he, he he's if he's setting those, he's already attacked. Yeah, I think so I think he did. He attacked for 35 or 33.50. I think so. There would be no reason not to. So yeah. No, I think they're discussing how the Gyoku changed the whole game. He's right. <laughs> it's fantastically right. It. No, he and he drew, drew the Lance, okay. which is nothing. Lance is, Lance is dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not going to hit anything. Fun thing about Lance is if he actually just attacks the, uh, the Ophion and says anything before damage step and he activates the card, he still can Lance him. So, yeah. oh, as much as people think, oh, Lance is still actually good against Opion. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he does attack, yeah. Yeah, this game is actually heavily in Dalton's favor now. Mm -hmm. Not life points wise. No, I mean, that, I, I, you have to understand life points almost don't matter sometimes. I'm well aware. But yeah, no, no, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the Yu Yu yeah. community. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at this point, if he does get the Kirkion, then... Yeah, yeah he's, he's one, yeah, pretty much one monster away, since Dalton doesn't have any traps. Yep, because he could just get the 101, take whatever is coming out yeah. here, and blow the game out. Silent Arc. Yep. So Arc's coming down to steal the Ophion. This is where I wish the trap card just said return an evil swarm to the no, deck. That would be too broke. If you could hit or do Ophion, that would be very unfair. I would love it. I would I would never that not play <laughs> evil swarms. <laughs> All right. 21. So 21 to Anthony. Let's see if he rips that one monster that he needs. And he set the lance. So doesn't matter he just makes um he makes arc steals it and yep. attacks for game regardless of the lands yep doesn't look is, is it a monster i couldn't tell it's too quick it's either a monster or a spell he has his extra deck in his oh it's okay oh my gosh this is not good. it could have been an mst uh -oh. yeah now this is not good. now it's really in dalton's favor because now he just gets to go okay i can summon another wolf bark <laughs> and just make more plays And Dalton drew a mirror force, so that <laughs> helps. <laughs> this is a good match. This is a very good match. <laughs> it's your best friend. <laughs> Brandon Wigley, everybody. Kaku 
Rocket Suchi. The time to win is very quickly running away from Hampton right now. <laughs> yeah, he was he, knew, he, he was he was taking advantage of Dalton's all monster hand, you know, putting the damage on the board, but he left it, he couldn't finish him off and now Dalton had plenty of time to summon all those monsters, so exactly. It's so even if he does draw a monster in the next turn, there's not much to really do. Uh, his, his, uh, Dalton's getting a lot of cards, so uh, Excite tonight is definitely going to come down and probably win the game. If Excite could be a thing, but if he goes Kagatsuchi right here, it doesn't. Do, well, I guess Excite could still blow up twice, but that doesn't kill the Kagatsuchi. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Kagatsuchi is very good. And if he goes, you know, the 101 to get over the Kagatsuchi, he still has to deal with the regular 101. So it looks like it was 1,600 and 2,100 attacking? 18 and 21. Oh, yeah, 18 and 21. If he's attacking at all, uh, instead of just going into the Kagatsuchi. Jeff is judging this weekend. He's not playing, so. But his. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was playing in spirit and got yeah. two. And got two he got destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not his spirit. He would have won. <laughs> I do not think Dal Dalton is playing giant hand. Brandon Wigley's playing giant hand. No, I, I've been pretty. Sorry, I was uh, the last card I know, hand I was, was the saying, card card yeah. D. It was the card card D, not Wolf. Okay, so card card D. I just changed things a little bit if he can get around this, but yeah. not yeah. enough, I think, to make a difference. So it was two. It was two in a card card, yeah. Nice big crowd over around the future match table right now. Nothing wrong with that. Enjoying the good matches we got going on over there. Absolutely. Table one is also getting a written feature right now. Despite popular belief, you did not have to top a YCS to get a giant hand. Mm -hmm. All you had to do, in fact, was just shell out hundreds of dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have a prize card that is uh, playable right now. Even though when I won it in uh, December, it wasn't playable because it was dragon format. Ring fours weren't anything, but now they're so popular. Exactly. So many decks you use and abuse them. What? Who's thinking about what? <laughs> yes, it is almost nine, probably like East Coast time, but it is only. It's not even six p.m. here, so yep. it's just. We about are on to time. Hit six. I mean, there's a lot of discussion going on right now. I don't know about what is going on. With the Maybe they're waiting on a ruling or something. This always seems like one of Dalton's matches. Is just there's always some big conversation that comes up in them. Mm -hmm. but it happens. It does. Judge. I think they're talking. I think they're debating on whether or not he gave them a response. Right, uh, according yeah. to the chat, whether or not they gave them a response window for the for actually summoning the gorilla. Mm -hmm. So he just like went wolf bark summon gorilla. So, so I believe this card that he drew was an MST. <laughs> I believe the card that he drew was an MST. Yeah, I mean, so that would make sense. We could use the warning. And yeah. He had one spell book, two Which would still keep him in the game and possibly could win it up for him on his next turn, assuming he draws a monster. Or some other offensive trap to keep the game going.
not say Tyree's a scrub, even if you donate 50, because Tyree is not a scrub. Tyree is awesome. Tyree is great. He's a two-time champ. Watch your mouth. So I kind of wish I could see yeah, what time a, is like in the round right now. I mean, it's definitely paused for whatever ruling they're doing. Because plenty of other pl players are still going in their matches, so they haven't called time yet. But it just feel, feels like this match has gone see, on. See, I can for almost so long. see the clock from here. I see. A, I think there's there's five and a half minutes left in the normal round. That's crazy. It is about the gorilla summon and response windows, and that's why you have to speak clearly and articulately. Absolutely. Jerry Take Williams. Nice I don't know why you're not here, Jerry. Nice that is Jerry Williams. I don't know why you're not here. It's Vegas. It was spring break. I'm disappointed in you. So my popular belief, not Nambiri, Patrick Hoban is not naked for this event. He is, in fact, wearing pants. Possibly oh, even finally shorts. answered their question. <laughs> Speaking of a different Paul, anybody know what Paul Clark's record is today? I don't know. trying to uh, figure out uh, if the summon, who was telling the truth or what, I don't know, we'll have to see what's happening. They're trying to see, Don saying that he said it was okay, the summon of Gorilla, and Anthony saying like it wasn't okay, he wanted to do something. So they've been waiting, they've been talking it out. There's really, when situations like this come up, that's why you have to like be uh, articulate when you're playing and talk out loud and uh, be very clear with your moves so this kind of thing doesn't happen. Exactly. Unfortunately, uh, we would love to help in this situation, but unfortunately, we don't record the audio from the webcam over there. Which is what they were asking, so we could <laughs> so we could try and you know verify who said what and when. Uh, but unfortunately, in these situations, especially when it's down to the wire like this, Anthony is very valid in his concerns. You know, even if you know, even if he may be you know pressing for time and you know picking at semantics, but he could very well, he does very well. You know, in this situation, could have an answer. Granted, if someone if uh, someone was right and Dalton has. A Baylor and an MST in hand, or not in hand, but a Baylor in hand and an MST on the field. Mm -hmm. Then if he MSTs that, and then MSTs the one that was set just so he doesn't get to use it, then mm -hmm. that's still a blowout. So yeah. Does he have an MST? That's what someone in the chat was saying, is that they had an MST. There's no one of the hands, cards in his hand is a card card. card. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we already Yeah. I just don't know what's gone. Uh, Vegas is awesome. Billy Mays here. No, Billy rest, Mays in, here. Rest, in, rest in peace, Billy Mays. Rest in <laughs> peace, buddy. I'm sure they're going to make a decision soon. It's just going to be down to the head judge discretion. So we'll have to see what uh, he says. And he's giving them their final ruling right now. Yep, absolutely. And it looks like he's saying that the response window is okay. And he was responded with, uh, I'm not going to do anything.
Oh, all right, we're trying to figure out best we can to to uh, help the situation maybe by rewinding and seeing how the cards came out and maybe we can figure it out by that, but do not even know if that's going to be possible. Oh, I guess. And I don't know what just happened. They shook hands. Anthony twisted, and now he's warning something. Or maybe, oh, he's maybe he scooped, and he's showing him what he wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay, he but oh, he's drawing. He's not drawing anything anyway. He was going to lose the game. That's what Anthony's saying right now. He, he yeah. Anthony would have drawn a Valor had he even got to do it his way and still lost on the following turn. Okay, he had no it was monsters. a Lance. It was a Lance, not an MST. So. Okay, so, yeah, Dalton was going to win regardless. So they pretty much came down there and were like, well, let's see what would happen. But, no, yeah. Anthony was going to get lose no matter what, but that was a good match until the little confusion there at the end. That's why you got to be clear with your moves and everything. Oh, man. And the bump. <laughs> so, yeah. Earthquake. All right, well, I will be back next round, guys. Absolutely. Your next huge match. Thanks for sticking around. See you round seven. We'll be back in just a little bit after a short commercial break. We'll be back afterwards, see if we can maybe get some interviews for you guys and just keep going. Be back in a little bit, guys.